Hello, this is a HP DeskJet printer and it comes up with this error E2. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to resolve this error. I'm going to be working with HP 2700 series, 2710 or any desktop printer at all that comes up with error E2. I'm going to show you how to sort out the problem. So uh, this particular error has to do with a particular sensor at the back of the printer. There is a sensor around this area at the back of the, the printer. The sensor controls the paper size. So when the sensor is bad, it gives you that error E2. And when you check online, sometimes it tells you it's a communication issue between the uh, printer and your settings on the computer so if you ch check your setting and your setting is fine the next thing you're going to do is to check that particular sensor at the back of the printer you have to open up the printer to be able to see that sensor and that is what i'm going to be doing in this video i'm going to show you the location of the sensor and how to solve that the problem so if you don't want to replace the sensor it is fine you just have to remove the cable from the sensor that is attached to the logic board that way you don't have the sensor working or sending any message to the printer that the paper size is wrong all right so to do that i'm going to remove the screws on this side of the printer So the location of your own screws might be a bit different depending on the model of the HP desktop you're working with. But for this particular one, I have to remove the two screws close to the paper area. And then we have two screws under the printer also. So I have removed the screws. I'm going to gently remove the top lid and then unplug the flex cable that is attached to the logic board. You can see the little logic board here. So this actually is the flex that controls the sensor. I'll bring the camera closer so that you can get a better view. You can see that small flex cable there. That is what controls the, the paper size you can see there is a sensor here that controls the paper side it is attached it goes all the way to the back of this printer and it controls the paper so whenever you fix any paper there it will just help um, control and send a message to the printer that you're fixing this particular size of paper to to the printer so it will print according to the size of the paper but if the sensor is bad, it will keep giving you error message all the time. You can print, and once you print out anything, it will come out blank. And it will keep blinking that there is an error E2. So the sensor is actually located around this area. You can see there's something like a glass there. And this is the flex cable that controls that sensor. So if I unplug the flex cable, the sensor won't work anymore. That way, I don't have to worry about the sensor telling the printer that um, there is a wrong paper size on on the printer so now that i've unplugged the the cables i am going to leave it unplugged and then plug back the other cables just the way they are supposed to be now the reason why i'm going to unplug it is because the sensor is not readily available so you might want to replace your own with another sensor if you have it available. The reason why I'm showing you this is because if for one reason or the other you don't have the sensor available and you can't get the sensor or the sensor is not within um, your reach at that particular time, you can just unplug this flex cable and the problem will be solved. You can print for as long as you can. 
but if you have the opportunity to get the sensor you can just replace the sensor with another one so that the sensor can um, notify you uh, and control the paper size that is on the printer also so now that i've unplugged it i'm going to leave it unplugged and then plug back the other cables like the screen cable and the the scanner cable I'm going to plug them back on and then i'll do a test print so that you see that the problem is solved so i'm going to close the printer back and screw it just like i met it okay so i've plugged the printer to electricity now and electricity is connected to the printer i'm going to put the paper there and then try to do a test print now ordinarily before once i put the paper and try to do a test print or print out anything the paper will just come out through the just come out blank and then there will be a light flashing arrow e2 light but now that I've unplugged the cable and then the sensor is no longer working with the printer now, I'm going to do a test print just like I normally do or do a photocopy just like, like I normally do and then we'll see the difference now. So I've sent a test print to the printer and you can see the paper is moving and the printer is trying to print something on the, on the printer. On the paper, okay? So you can see that it is coming out well and the problem is solved so thank you i'll see you some other time but you suppose a based on based on long time no 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 say based on long time working i don't know i don't know